Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, welcome to Elevated Tarot. This is going to be a collective for the fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <laughs> welcome. This is for those who are either Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their natal chart. Please check your chart. Cross watchers, you are welcome here as well. Keep in mind that energy is fluid. The roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed. But never force a reading. If it's for you, the messages will be fluid. Never force it, guys. All right, so let's get into the collective for the fire signs. Show me the messages for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please. What messages do you have for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and love? I'm also offering personal readings. If you're interested, please click on the link in the description box. Or I'll go to alexandertarot.com directly. I do have some open slots. Please check me out. All right. So anyway, we're going to start this off, Aries, Leon, Sag, by pulling some Oracle messages. Okay. So the messages. Oh my God, I'm so tired, guys. I don't know what's happening. I feel so drained. I don't know if it's this heat in New York City because we're in the middle of a heat wave or what. That's why I'm, I mean, I'm home now and I have the air conditioner on. I pray that it's not bothering you guys, but I know it can sound like a plane in the background, but I don't want to be hot, right? And especially I'm yawning, so I want to be I want to be focused and alert. So I need to have the air on. All right. I hope you guys are comfortable wherever you are tuning in. All right. So we just. Let's see me shuffle it again. So I'm gonna shuffle it again. Show me the messages for the five signs, please. I'm gonna be able to see in love. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Let me tell you, <laughs> all your cards are positive. You legit every card that i pulled so far you have a wish fulfillment here there's move this is about progression towards happiness love joy and stabilities here <laughs> success and growth that is insane i never ever pull all positive cards which makes me wonder why are you here but we're going to keep pulling to find out why is this Oh, that's why. It's something that you need to confront. There's something that you have to let go of in order to go towards something else. I'm definitely, definitely getting that energy. Okay? Um, it's requiring you to let go of something. And I feel the energy with the sadness and isolation. I feel like it's stuck in an unhappy situation. You know, and it's like there's a wish fulfillment, but it's requiring you to release. I mean, come on now, there's success, there's joy, there's stability. There's someone, there's being valued by someone. You know, there's someone valuing you, you value someone. This is reciprocity. This is like the six of pentacles energy. Okay? But it's requiring you to confront something and to get out and release. There's something that you need to confront and release. Okay? So we're going to go into the tarot to find out what is it that's keeping you stuck instead of moving. Because there is a wish fulfillment here if you release. Spirit, look at that. Oh my goodness. Yo, look at this. Look at this. What is that? I just said there's a wish fulfillment if you release. And what is that? The Nine of Cups. A wish fulfillment. Well-deserved reward. This is the equivalent of the wish fulfillment card, guys. And that's the first card that came out. This is insanity. Show me the messages, please. I love how tapped in I am. I love it. I love it. I love it. Show me the messages for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, you feel stuck. There's something that it doesn't feel like progress because you're not moving forward. 
there's you're stuck. There's some there's somebody here that you're connected to with this page of cusp reverse, or this could be your energy or your person. I feel like this is your person. This is someone that doesn't plan long term because they are not used to anything stable. Their upbringing was unstable. Okay, they had an unstable upbringing, some sort of childhood issues, um, something. Even for some of you, and I hate to have to say this, for your person, for some of you, this person might have even been sexually abused, but there was some sort of childhood trauma. And because of this, this person lacks stability. This person might have witnessed a parent or, you know, leave, not come back. There might have been some abandonment issues. So therefore, this person has a hard time believing in stability because they wasn't raised on it. Okay? But that's why this is crowned by this nine of cups. They don't even realize that there's still a wish fulfillment here if somebody here is willing to move forward because this person i'm getting the energy that this is this we're gonna find out we're gonna find out why this page of who this page of cups person is because there's something that you need to release there's sadness and isolation but that could be a person's energy they could be in sadness and isolation because they're not willing to confront their demons and release them so they can be happy God, I can't tell you. That's going to bring this person into balance. That'll bring this connection into balance. This is a temperament, okay? This is about balance. Sagittarius energy. That that's <laughs> Sagittarius. Are you listening? Time heals all wounds. This is about having to release something and even forgive. Forgiveness is about is not about it's not about um the other person. It's about you releasing the hold that they have on you, okay? Man, you you coming together with your person is going to require a lot of patience, okay? With this temperaments as well. We're gonna we're gonna dive deep into the messages. Wow. We're gonna move these cards over because these messages are so profound to what's happening here. Okay. Let's put these cards over here. They're falling out of the way. So let's see what the hell is going on. Right? But that's it. This person, like, there's a need to release and move from the past and move towards love. This person is standoffish because of past issues, childhood trauma. Even for some of you, relationship trauma, this person has. And it's keeping them stuck. Show me more for this connection between Aries, Leon, Sag, and their person wanted to come out this person sees you as the queen of pentacles though someone who's um who cares deeply about others cares for them like just a very concerned and abundant very caring person someone that they could count on like i feel like you're the type of person that rubs their back you know you talk to them you try to get into their head you tell them that you're there for them but it's like this situation is requiring this person to do their part but they do see you that way. Yeah, because with the um, Ace of Cups reverse, this is someone who has blocked and repressed emotions. So they see you as giving. Um, they see that you're very concerned about them because they, they're sad, they're in pain. This person is in a lot of pain, okay? Look at this, this is cool out. Four of Wands reverse. It's like, this person is not willing to come forward right now because they're so closed off with this Four of Wands reverse. For some of you, this person left. They walked away. They abandoned this connection. It's because they're hurting. Not because they don't love you. They're suppressing those feelings. That love is there. They're just suppressing them and they're blocking it. So they miscarry this connection because of these unresolved trauma issues that they have. Wow. That card fell on the floor. Queen of Swords. I feel like that message is for you, Aries. And Spirit is like, it's time for you to be clear about your wants and your needs. Like, for, there's, there's time for you, like, you're very emotional, you're very caring, but Spirit wants you to also look at this from a logical standpoint with this Queen of Wands. 
to try to see the situation outside your emotions and realize that this person is not out to hurt you. This is not about you. This is about this person. Hurt people hurt people. This is not an excuse. This is an explanation. Spirit, show me the breakdown here. I need to see the breakdown between the fire signs and their person. Show me the breakdown, please. You feel like this person took advantage of you, okay? You really do. I'm getting energy. You feel like this person took advantage of me. This person, this person took me for granted. Um, with the Queen of Cups reversed as your hidden energy at the bottom of the deck, I feel like you feel like I overgave to this connection. You just feel like you did because you showed up with complete transparency, complete vulnerability, wanted this connection, wanted to see it grow, wanted to just wanted to build with this person and love this person. And then this person pulled back. And you think they're playing games. You think they're being manipulative with you. Okay? I feel like there was a very unhappy ending with this three of cups reverse. And you feel, you feel like this person just took advantage of your vulnerability. Because with the six of pentacles, seven of pentacles reverse, this is someone who, you know, they're not used to stability. So they don't see things through. This person, I feel, has a reputation. I shouldn't say reputation. That's the wrong word. Give me the word, spirit. This person has a history of walking away from relationships, not really seeing them through because there's a certain point emotionally that they don't feel comfortable going past, okay? And that's because the breakdown here. So with the two of wands now, like this is someone who suddenly left. They detached. And now they're trying to figure out what to do. And here you are thinking this person just, you know, this person hurt me, this person left me. I did I did everything I was supposed to do, and this person didn't even respect it. Wow. Show me this person's feelings. What is this person's feelings for Aries Lunar Sagittarius? This person is just really they get that you're you know, they, they know that you're confused and you want clarity on this. With this Ace of Swords, they know that they should be communicating with you about this and that you need clarity. They really want to, um, they want to restore this connection. They know that you're, they're, they're, you know, they want you to push through these adversities together. With this Page of Pentacles, pages are messengers, all right? This person knows that they have these emotional issues, issues. I said issues. <laughs> They do miss you. This person, know, they recognize, they know exactly what's happening with them. They're very self-aware that they haven't healed from traumas, okay? Because they, they think about these things that bother them. They just don't know what to do about it and how to handle it. But this is someone who's willing to learn. Page of Pentacles, this is someone who's willing to, to learn. They want to be somebody that you can count on, okay? This person is, you know, with the magician, I'm getting at the hidden energy at the bottom of the deck. Gemini energy. I feel like this person wants to take action. Like, they're trying to manifest you two back to each other. They're trying to manifest you and back into their lives. It's, it's, I can't really put it into words. They're just trying to find a willpower to be brave enough to take action. Yeah, they have the Four of Pentacles is about holding on to deep-seated past issues, having a hard time letting go, okay? Wow. I'm going to pull your feelings for this person. They don't even see there's a wish fulfillment here. Like, there's so much love. It's just this person is suppressing their feelings. All right, show me, um, show me, um, Aries, Sag, and Neil's feelings for their person, please. You feel like this person is super controlling, super stubborn with this Aries energy here, <laughs> um, Emperor Reverse. You just feel like this person is just, they're, they're very controlling. They want to control the situation by being stubborn and resistant. 
okay? And this person might very well have an absent father. I'm getting absentee parent here, okay? Absentee parent. And I said that. I said, for some of you, this person has abandonment issues, okay? And this is what you see. So this is a confirmation for a lot of you that, you know, this person d does have abandonment issues and they have control issues. And with the um, Queen of Cups reverse, you're like, I gave, I gave, I gave, I gave. There's a codependency here because I feel like you gave at the at the expense of your emotional well-being, at your own happiness. You just you just kept giving, and just I get the energy of someone who was trying to love someone into loving them the same way, and it doesn't work that way. This person needed to heal. But with the with the five of cups reverse, it's like you want things to move forward between you and this person. You want you want to heal. You definitely you, you want this connection to be healed. But with the knight of cups reverse, the bottom of the deck, you feel like this person is just you know they're not showing up for you. They took their love back. They gave you an illusion of love, and you can't trust it. You feel like this person has very very poor personal boundaries, and you feel the resistance. Like you feel like well damn. Why, why you feeling like I took it too far? You shouldn't be feeling like you took it too far because all you were trying to do is love this person, all right? So it's not you. You're not the problem. It's just that this person has to has to do the work too. You know they're gonna have to be able to. They have to confront these traumas so they can release them. And that's why they came out in the um, oracle messages in the beginning of the reading. They have to confront it. They have to be vulnerable. It's not something that you need to do, right? So we're gonna pull your challenges. Show me the collective of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What is their challenges regarding this situation, this connection? What is their challenges in regards to this connection? I have the devil reverse Capricorn energy. You could be connected with the Capricorn and the Four of Cups. Wow, your challenge is to, to not focus. I know this it sounds crazy because you're like, how else can I even think of anything else? But there's going to be a need for you not to focus on the negative and always expect the worst with this person. I know that sounds crazy because I get a track record of somebody that has had conflicting energies for a long time. Someone who's been unstable for a long time. Someone who's been coming close and pulling back for a long time. And But there's a need for you to, because I get the energy of you feeling like you're at the end of your rope with this. This is very unstable. What spirit is like, you need to release the toxicity in this. And what that is, is focusing on the negative. Focusing on the negative things that happen in this connection between you and your person. And even now, is what's keeping you guys stuck. This is stuck energy, the Four of Cups. Like feeling like, you know, there's a lot of regret here. Like your person is refusing. You know, you're trying to make an offer with this person, you're trying to come together with this person, and love this person, they're refusing it. Okay, you feel like this person is very self-absorbed though. But there's something you don't see here. And you but you know that this person has traumas. So your challenge is to see them in the way. I got the Knight of Swords as the challenge in hidden energy. And this is someone who's been in and out. And that's why you have all these fears and this toxic energy that you need to let go of. Because it's, it doesn't serve you anymore. It's useless for you to hold on to it. This person needs to release it, but so do you, right? It's not, it's not doing you any good. So show me, you know, thoughts become things. And I, and, I, and I know you cannot manifest the happiness in a relationship by yourself. Um, I get this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is not going to happen that way. It is going to require this person to confront their traumas and release them. They got, it is. So um, I totally get that part. But at the same time, there's a need for you to purge these negative feelings that you have. Okay? Show me advice. Okay, well, what is the advice for... Goodness. It's so crazy. The cards are saying exactly what I just said to you. Show me advice for Aries Leo Sagittarius, please. What is that like? Goodness, these cards are still <laughs> One more, please. Okay, I have the Six of Cups reversed, the world, Capricorn energy again, and the King of Swords. Again, there's a need for you to let go of the past for you and your person. Okay, there's a need for you guys to close out this negative cycle for good.
you're gonna have to use your discernment. But there's a conversation that needs to take place. There's gonna be an honest conversation. There needs to be an honest conversation with you and your person, not an emotional conversation. You know, there's a need for you to take a logical approach about this and get out of your feelings for a little while so that you can see things objectively. That's the advice that I have. That's the only way that you're gonna be able to close this cycle because this person wants to be honest with you, they do. And there's gonna be a conversation. You guys are gonna communicate. Look at this card, it's flipped up. Both of these cards, so let me take it out in addition to advice, okay? Yeah, the Fool and the Knight of Swords. This person's gonna actually take a leap of faith with this Fool, okay? They're gonna take a leap of faith, they're gonna come in with the Knight of Wands. <laughs> They may try to, you know, love bomb you or try to seduce you because they they know how to be their physical connection. Like I feel like this person, it's easier for them to come at you and seduce you than it is to talk to have that hard conversation with you. And I feel like it may be avoidance. They want to take the leap of faith. They want to be with you, but there's something that they're avoiding here. Cause they, but they definitely want to be with you. Look at this, Six of Pentacles. This is reciprocity. Reciprocity. Yeah, so this person definitely wants to come in and show you that they value you. But they, they like to use their, their they, they like to use passion to show you that they value you. But it's like, I just wanted to tell you that that's what it is. But this person, they're gonna communicate with you. And it's going to be out of nowhere with the tower card, okay? Out of nowhere. You're not even going to be expecting it when this person comes in to communicate with you. All right? So the tower doesn't always mean a disaster, but it just means that this is going to be unexpected. It's going to be out of nowhere. This person is going to come in and they're going to want to communicate and they're going to want to take a leap of faith. But they do want to show you that they value you. The Six of Pentacles is about showing someone that they do value you. All right? Um... Your advice, again, is to let go of the past. And again, this person wants to communicate, just try to detach emotionally and listen objectively, logically. That is the advice that I have for you, okay? So before I close out this reading, I'm going to post some love oracle messages for the collective. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <sighs> Y'all gotta have that hard conversation. And you know, this person, they, as long as they come in, they confront the issues, they're honest, and they're able to process them and release them. Because again, they feel a lot of sadness. They're, nice, they're not happy in this isolated energy. They just feel like they're self-protecting. They're not happy though. Their happiness is with you. And they know that. So in order to be happy with you, they have to make a move. They got to make that move towards you and confront their shit and, and, and heal and release so that you guys can be happy. I pulled two wish fulfillment cards. Two. And two different decks. All right? Show me the messages for Aries and Leon Sagittarius, please. What messages do you have in love? Again, if this resonated, be sure to tap that like button. It lets me know you want to see more of these messages, guys. Okay. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Okay? You have to have faith. Don't forget about faith. Thoughts become things. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. I'm telling you guys, spirit does not lie. This is going to require you to have a lot of faith, right? The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. How the hell did I... I got three cards in the row that had to do with having faith. Three cards about faith. That is not a coincidence. There's no such thing as coincidences. Wait, don't rush it. Allow nature to take its course. Yep. So having faith is, you know, is, is manifestation. Once you do it, you have faith that it's gonna happen. You set your intentions and just watch how it comes into fruition. Be patient. Allow the universe to do its work. 
This person, let me tell you, the universe is going to bring you two together. You're going to communicate. This person is going to face their demons. You're going to have those hard conversations. And then this person can heal and release it. And then you two can heal, heal together and love together. All right. So those are the messages that I have for you, Aries, Leon, Sagittarius, for this collective reading of the fire signs. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.